The Director of Public Prosecutions, Lady Justice Jane Francis Abodo, who was speaking at the launch of Standard Operating Procedures, said they will help investigators probe and prosecute cases of trafficking in persons in Uganda. The guidelines will help investigators on how to obtain information from suspects before starting investigations. You know that because most of the time these victims are made to, they fear so much that they cannot even report. So these SOPs will have, have, have armed Nusra with the, 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 like almost, for lack of a better word, X-ray eyes to see that this one is a victim of, because there is a way where you can even see victims and you think they're actually perpetrators. And the SOPs also call upon stakeholders to embrace coordination, the three C's, coordination, cooperation, and, and, and of course collaboration in the fight against uh, trafficking in persons. The, SOP the guidelines also help investigators to carry out financial investigations, which is a key element in detecting crime because perpetrators profit from this syndicated crime. If we want to dismantle the criminal groups that are making money uh, profiting from the vulnerability of, of uh, persons of different kinds and age and gender, uh, we need to address the money, we need to follow the money and to seize the assets and make them available again for justice and also for compensating the victims. And in this view of complexity, we also have a part on international police and judiciary cooperation. We know that trafficking takes place within the country in Uganda, but it has also often a transnational dimension. According to the office of the DPP, more crimes of trafficking in person are registered locally than abroad. The maids in your homes, how did you get them? And how old are they? Most of them you'll find that they're actually trafficked. They've been trafficked, they tell them, they go to the villages there and they tell them, I'm going to take you to Kampala to do work where you're going to be earning 400,000 per month. You're going to sell a shop and what, and when they bring them, and actually the girl is even 16, they bring the person to you and the person starts, instead of earning the 400, the person is actually going to be earning 100,000 and he's not even going to sell a shop, but he's coming to work as your maid. That is trafficking in persons. The working manual also provides knowledge to judicial officers on how to sentence convicts. You also don't give a sentence where you think you're just going to leave the person to die there forever. That's not uh, the, African, the African traditional system. By the way, it's more of restorative. The guidelines give an avenue for a multi-sectoral approach in terms of investigations of some of the cases of trafficking in persons, how the cases are identified, and also how the victims are supposed to be treated after the cases have been heard and may be concluded. It also provides, according to the DPP, an avenue for the DPP to improve in terms of convictions where it stands at 261 out of 268 cases that they handled in financial year 2023-2024 and it is expected that these numbers could even double. Sudibi Yarhanga, NTV.